Hello everybody, what is going on? We are back and this is going to be my part two of my marathon. I don't know if we're going to upload this all at once or just go all the way to the end in this video and make like a half an hour uh, episode. Maybe I, maybe I will. I don't know who will watch half an hour episode of me blabbling, but maybe, you never know. So in the last episode, I told you guys I'm just going to continue just to simulate because the only goal we have this year is to win the Stanley Cup. And that is all that we can do. That is all we have left to do with this GM. This is our last year. We got a good team. We started out like 10-1, and 1, but we got a couple of losses. That's all right, though. We can continue to pick it up. Let's keep it going. I'm just going to keep on going until the All-Star game right now. So... I don't know what to do. I'm really uh, just, well, the only goal we have is to win the Stanley Cup. We've we've won that one Stanley Cup, but that was it. That was all that we have uh, accomplished in 10 years. And, you know, one cup is nice, but everybody wants to win a cup. And I wish I could win a cup every single year. We've had a couple of really legit chances, but other than that, we've just had some bad luck in the playoffs, been riddled with, eh. We've been riddled with injuries, like some big injuries to McKinnon and uh, the fish couple to, oh, what's this guy? Riley Grantham, 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 uh, <laughs> Grantham, I uh, don't really need you. I don't want to take on the cap, so I'm going to say no, um, but yeah, we got some pretty bad injuries. Um, other than that, though, we, all we need to do is win a Stanley Cup. I've said it a million times. That's our only goal. So uh, to win a Stanley Cup, you need to have a good regular season, and we are definitely having one of those. Got a lot of goal scorers. Nathan McKinnon is absolutely ripping it up. Last time I checked, he had 39 points in 29 games. So that is a uh, really big accomplishment. I mean, just like the points-wise, is just nuts. But hoping that he can continue that hot streak and Drew Ann already with 20 goals leading the league. We're averaging about five goals a game, it looks like here. So we play a lot better at home than we do on the road, but we've been picking it up on the road as of late. So I might just go all the way to the end here and this go right to the right to, yeah, right to the playoffs. I'm getting all ahead of myself. This drank a Red Bull. I'm uh, home alone. No one's at home right now. So I am just ready to go. I'm ready to get some recording done. Um... What are we doing? This guy, Eric Selleck. What do you like? Um, another one of those fourth line guys. I'm actually going to start picking people up in the minors because for the um, for the playoffs, when there gets injuries, I do not want to have nobody like we had last year. I guess you guys didn't see that because everything got cut off and I uploaded it and it didn't work. Um, but we got some pretty big injuries like to Reinhardt and a couple to like our depth players. Our star players were all, everything was okay, but other than that, it was uh, a bunch of depth players getting injuries and I had no one to bring up. I had to bring up defensemen to play the forward position, so I don't want to run into that problem once again, but we are doing pretty good. couple of losses, though, but you can't win every single game. If we lose two in a row here, okay, big win, 3-1 win. Drew Ann, 24 goals. McKinnon, 39 assists already. Devin Didiomite, that was the guy that 2BC picked up. He's a tough guy. Um, I guess, yeah, we're just, Nashville's putting everybody on waivers. I don't know what's up there. But um, I'd rather get players that are that can play in the in the NHL they're like fourth line guys so when the time comes when injuries do happen cuz in the playoffs everybody gets injured especially with my playoff luck um it's good to have players to bring up so couple losses there that does concern me um but then we come back with a big 5 to 1 win all we need to do is win games and then that is it that is all we need to do so it is uh, Sunday right now. Playoffs are today. So you would be watching this on Monday. Or no, maybe... No, not Monday. So maybe when you're watching this, the Stanley Cup will already be awarded. I think Chicago is going to take it. Speaking of them, we lose to them 5-2. to two. So I think that Chicago is going to take it. I cannot see the Bruins coming back. You know, with the hype all like being there, um, the Stanley Cup's going to be in the building. They're, they've already won it. I think Chicago is going to take it. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I will. Uh, maybe the Bruins will come back and surprise me. But I'm thinking that Chicago is going to take it tomorrow. Uh, the, obviously, the Stanley Cup will already be awarded when you watch this because I don't know when I'm going to upload it yet. Um, 3 nothing. But yeah, I think Chicago is going to take it. I may be wrong. I may be right. I don't know yet, obviously, because I can't tell the future. Uh, so it's weird. Like we lose, we lose like three in a row, but then we come back with like three huge wins, like five two, and then three nothing. Like I don't know. Our team is really streaky, but we definitely have a lot more wins and losses, which is definitely a good thing. 
Uh, 31 goals for Drewan already, so I'm glad that I waited on Drewan. He's turning out to be a hell of a player. See, 7-1 to one there against Columbus. Just destroyed him. Um, everything's looking good. 33 wins for the Fish. He's coming up huge. Um, all right, All-Star game. Let's see what we got. See who made the All-Star team. So McKinnon made the All-Star team. Drewan did. Um, that looks like it's it. Oh, no, Runblad, and that's it. So maybe our goalie did, did the fish. Yeah, of course he did. The fish made the all-star team. What would an all-star team be without the fish? So let's just keep on going here all the way to the trade deadline. I'm um, not going to make any moves, maybe for some depth, uh, maybe some depth defensemen. Other than that, though, I'm just going to run with it because I've said it a million times. All I need to do is win games, and all we need to do is win that Stanley Cup. So I cannot wait to get to the playoffs. It's kind of sad because it's our last year. I've had so much fun with this GM. I've learned so much about commentating and how to keep it going and everything. So I cannot wait. I cannot wait just to, to, to start a new one. Probably going to do a fantasy draft. Uh, a bunch of you guys said in the last video that you want me to do that. So I'm going to look forward to that, the fantasy draft. I can't wait to do it. Um, I don't know what team I'm going to do. If I'm going to do a creative team. I don't really like creative teams because I don't like the logos that they give you. I could obviously bring back a team like the Hartford Whalers or something. Or, yeah, I might even do that. I don't know. That's kinda, that kind of sounds like a, like a good idea. I don't know. Uh, two to one, still getting victories. There's really nothing for me to talk about except what's going on right now in the NHL and in what's going on right here. So um, LA made a trade. Speaking of LA, we're playing them. They traded uh, Jonathan Bernier to the Toronto Maple Leafs. I made a trade breakers about that. You can go get my full in-depth analysis on that. I can just talk about hockey forever. Like I intended for that video to be like three minutes, and then it went to be like nine minutes. So I can just talk about hockey forever. I wish I could. I I could get a job where I could just be an analyst all day and just talk about hockey stats all day. That'd be a dream job. Uh, seven to three win. So it looks like Drewan kind of calmed down with the goals a little bit. Uh, Stevens guy, he's got more goals than Drewan does. He's plays for Nashville. I saw he had 36 goals there. Uh, Jordan Schrader got traded from Vancouver to Minnesota. I think that's his home. St I think that's where he's from. Is Minna is uh, Mini? I don't know though. I'm pretty sure because when they played there last year, they had like a big family thing, and a bunch of his family came. But uh, that's kind of cool. Jordan Schrader got traded. All I, there's nothing for me to really talk about except for just win games. That's it. Win games. Uh, let me drink my Red Bull there. Um, I've been addicted to Red Bull lately. I don't know what it is. It's weird. Probably not too good for me. 3-1, get another win. Yeah, 5-3. to two, five to three. So, really have nothing to do in um, the trade deadline, so I may just skip it. Should I skip it? I may just go through every every uh, phone, just see if I get any offers, but I don't think we're going to. Yeah, sure, whatever. So, I'm actually going to do the whole year in this video. We're only at 8 minutes. I'll probably make it about 15 minutes, then I'll go through a whole uh, wrap-up, and we'll see what is going on with the team. So, no trades, bunch of scrubs getting traded for first round picks, just like it always does. Hopefully we get a couple waiver pickups, maybe some waiver defensemen. That's what I want to do. I wanted to get some defensemen. That's right. Okay, okay, okay. So, pause everything. Let's go get some defensemen. Um, skaters giving away. I want someone who's cheap and someone who I can just throw in there. Not someone with any cap at all because I have no cap. Oh, man. Defensemen is what I need. Defense, um, wrestling, sure, give you for, how about, like, a third round pick. I don't even have any, look at all these picks, we got nothing, we're broke with picks, uh, I don't even care, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, whoops, a fifth, um, can I give you another third, yeah, wow, really, two thirds, that scrub, defenseman, whatever, whatever, I don't even care, let's just go, let's get it over with. Wow, our defense is looking pretty good, so I'm not too concerned. Was that Milan Lucic that got traded? Yeah, Lucic got traded for a first in Chad Pominville. That's a weak trade. Uh, Pominville is 67 overall. Maybe he's some prospect. Uh, Dustin Brown went to Tampa Bay. Nothing else really big. So hoping for some waiver pickups because we didn't make a move. That was a really poor effort, but whatever. I'm not even in the mood to trade. I just want to win a Stanley Cup so bad. Uh, there we go. Uh, what's this guy? Akstrom, 78 overall, three stars. Yep, 
that's all there was. So we got some uh, decent players in the minors for that, but that's about it. So all we got is the rest of this game. We got about 18 to 20 games left. That's usually what it is after the trade deadline. So it's just win as many games as possible. Don't worry about individual stats too much. Uh, maybe Drew Adam hit 50, maybe, 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 maybe. That'd be kind of nice. Um, 39 goals, still stuck at the 39. We're pretty, yeah, we're definitely going to make the playoffs. 45 wins, no questions there. Hopefully you guys don't mind the long video, but I wanted to make it just go through all of it because all we need to do is make the playoffs to win the Stanley Cup. Uh, two losses there, we come back with a 2-1 win. Uh, maybe get to 50 wins, and that would be nice. If we hit a 50-win year, I'll be happy. And if Drew Ann gets to 45 goals, I'll be happy as well. So 4 nothing and 40 goals for Drew Ann. A bunch of 4s going on. Uh, 10 more goals, Drew Ann. How many games do we have left? I'm going to check that out real quick. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 games left. All you need to score is 10 goals in 13 games, Drew Ann. I think you can do it. I think you can do it. So let's go all the way to the end. This is going to be a really long video, maybe like 20 minutes. I've, I like to keep them around uh, 10 to 12 minutes, but this one is an is a exception because I simulated a shitload. So 42 goals for Drew Ann, not bad. We just need to get him to 50, and I'd be so happy. I don't think we've ever had a 50-goal guy, so hoping that can uh, change right now. 43 goals. Come on, Drew Ann, you got this, buddy. You got this. You got this. Um, Minnesota, get a win. Win and a goal for Drew Ann. So 44. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. I got faith. I got tons of faith. I have so much faith. Oh, we lose. No goals. Four goals and none of them were Drew Ann. 44. Come on. Get one against the Leafs. 45. Perfect. Okay, so we need five goals in four games, I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, four. Oh, no. Okay, well, okay. We can totally do this. Five goals in how many games? One, two, three, four. Oh wait, hold on, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven go seven games, five goals. You got this, Drew Ann, no question. You had ten goals in your first eight games last year. You can totally er at the start of the year. You can totally do that. Forty six goals, beautiful. Come on, can you get to fifty? So we already got to fifty three wins. My uh, expectations are already out the window. They exceeded that. Forty eight. He he's gonna do it, guys. He's gonna get to fifty. All he needs is two more. Is it going to be against Anaheim? Nope, not against Anaheim. Okay, you're cutting it close, Drew Ann. Oh, we got one. He got one. I've got to see the 50th goal. Even though it was a loss, we got that goal. So let's go a slow, a slow uh, simulation just to see number 50. Finally, it happened. Nothing in period number one. Nothing in two. Nothing in three. Nothing. Wow. So one nothing, and that was a really weird game. Um, so no goals at all. So. I guess that's good. one nothing win in the shootout. Not really how you want to win a game, but we have two more games left. You score one goal, Drew, and that's it. Just one. Come on. You can do it. My Red Bull says you can do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Jonathan Drew and the 50-goal man. How good does that sound? First period. Did you get it? McDavid, Kane, and McKinnon. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Period number two. Armia, period number three. Armia, oh my god, one game to do it. Come on, Drew Ann. All you need is one goal, buddy. We're scoring goals. All you need is that one, though. Armia gets two. You're hogging all the goals. Let Drew Ann have just one. This is our most wins ever, I'm pretty sure. 56, that's nuts. One goal, that's it, Drew Ann. Don't disappoint me. Come on. I know we haven't had that greatest of a relationship, but this is it. We can do it here. One goal, that's all you need. 2 nothing. Oh, no way. Just like it was last year in the playoffs. Couldn't score a goal against Rene. I kind of want to go into the intervene and get him to 50. Oh, come on. Come on, <laughs> Drew Ann. Do this. 10 minutes left. You want that 50. You want the 50 goals. I know you do. You're hungry for it. I don't care if we lose. Just score one more. Come on. Drew Ann gets the 50 goals. There we go. With two minutes left, he does it. A flair for the dramatics. We lose, but he gets the 50 goals. That is all you can ask for. 
and that is awesome. So 50 goals for Druan. That's exactly what I, I, I wanted. Of course, he waited till the very last game to do it in the very last minute. So obviously, we made the playoffs. 117 points. That was amazing. Goals, 50 goals. Rocket Richard winner. Well, actually, I don't know how many games uh, Nashville has, so that Stevens guy could pull up an upset, but I'm not sure. I don't think he's going to. McKinnon, 93 points. This is his breakout year. Um, that's that. So let's go see who we're going to face in round number. Nope, not round. No, yeah, I guess round number one, year 10 playoffs. Who's it going to be? Drew Ann, 50 goals. That is awesome. We're facing the LA Kings. Beautiful. All right, and we got the legendary GM. That is it. We have completed everything we needed to complete. Here is our statistics. I finally found it. Took forever. 10 years, guys. That is just nuts. Made the playoffs for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 years in a row. The first 3 years didn't make anything, but then after that, it was just... The rest is history, so... This is awesome. Our GM, GM reputation, 100. Can't get any better than that. 56 wins. We finish, we finish it off. Go out with a bang with our best point total of the Japan GM and the best goal total. Or win total. Uh, 287 goals scored. That is definitely our most too. So we are just killing it, guys. All we can do. I don't need to say anymore. I'm not going to jinx it. You guys know what you need to do. Let's go to the uh, player standings. We're number one in wins. Of course we are. Points number one. Goals four. We're number one as well. We scored almost 30 goals more than Winnipeg. So we put the puck in the back of the net. 3.5 goals per game. Goals against. We were number two. So the Wild had a pretty good year. Not allowing too many goals at all. Uh, goals against. Yeah, Minnesota was still number one. Who's in net for Minnesota? That's weird. Uh, power play goals doesn't matter. Power play percentage, we're number three. So still stay in the top five. Um, penalty kill, we were 14th. So maybe we should work on that. Uh, everything's good, guys. Let's check our player stats, and we'll jump into the playoffs. Man, can't believe we are going to the playoffs. I actually didn't even check the awards for last year because it got cut off. I didn't even think about it. So let's see if we won any awards. Um, yeah, Kucherov won the Lady Bing at a boy. Um, and the Vesna went to the Fish. And the Jennings went to the Fish. So, oh, wow. Look at the Selkie Trophy. All Tays. Um, and the Ted Lindsay went to the fish and the rocket went to Jonathan Druan. So back to back years winning the rocket Richard trophy, uh, player stats season. Let's check it out. This is a really long video. Sorry for that guys, but hopefully you're still here sticking around. Let me know if you stayed for the whole time. Then I know you're true tech fans, but let's go check out who produced this year. I'm pretty sure everybody did. Um, so Nathan McKinnon, 93 points. What a monster. Definitely his best uh, statistical year. And then Patty Kane, 79. Armia with uh, 77 points. Pretty good. Drew Ann, 50 goals, only 26 assists. So pure sniping from this guy. Um, that's crazy. If he would have had a bunch more assists, probably would have had a 100-point year easily. Uh, Kucherov, 69 points. Reinhardt played pretty good in his first actual year as being a legit NHL player. 65 points. Runblad, 49 points. And he um, had 16 goals. So small man definitely hurt from playing on that third line. But that's all right. 30 goals for him. Yeah, our defense was played amazing. McDavid on the, the third line getting 35 points. That is awesome. Button, 15, or wait, no. Uh, never mind. I thought that was Button. I was like, what? 15 goals? Holy crap. The converter scored out of boy. That is uh, his only goal of the year. That's totally fine. Let's check out our goalies. The Fish, how is he doing? 2.20, not bad. Definitely came down with how many shutouts? Nine. So he played amazing. Let's check out everybody else just to see where we rank, just for fun. I know this video is really, really long. Um, goalies, obviously, were number one with wins, 55 wins. Shutouts, we were number two. Satari, we're using him in our roulette series. He's amazing. So I can definitely see where that's coming from. He's playing awesome. Um, let's check out the rookies and crap. Defenseman, TJ Brody, uh, where were we? We were number four in defenseman scoring. Not bad at all. Um... Where are we now? Right wingers, everybody else, doesn't really matter. Rookie goalies, there's really nobody. Rookie skaters, who's winning the Calder this year? It looks like this guy. Um, 
that's a crazy name. I'm going to try to pronounce that. And Joshua Hosang. If you guys know who he is, he's a prospect coming up. Uh, that is it, though. We are going into the, into the playoffs against the LA Kings. Thank you for watching. Uh, 50 goals for Drew Ann. I think that deserves a like. Come on, guys. All right, I am out. I will see you guys in the playoffs.